Amazon Studio's new world is in closed beta right now, and like with any MMO, you'll be greeted right from the start with a ton of systems to learn and currencies to keep track of. Of these, one of the most important and hard to come by is called Azoth, which is required for things like resetting your weapon talents and even fast traveling, which is especially helpful since New World is huge. To that end, here are a few different ways to stay stocked up on Azoth. Please note that New World doesn't officially release until August 31st, so everything covered here is true for the current closed beta, but might change in the final release. First off, what exactly is Azoth used for? Well, early on, honestly, not a lot. At higher levels, resetting your weapon mastery skills cost Azoth, though it's completely free at the start. Also, New World is very big, and you'll eventually start getting quests that require you to travel across the continent. There are no mounts, so fast traveling will save you loads of time, but again, the only way to do it is with Azoth. And unless you're just recalling to an end that you're currently checked into, pretty substantial amounts of Azoth are what's required. And finally, when crafting higher level gear, putting Azoth into the pieces raises its gear score. The more Azoth you put in, the higher your chances of scoring better attributes, perks, and gem slots. So you'll want to have a lot on hand if you can. So how do you get Azoth? Well, right now we only know of four ways. The first is from story or side quests. Not every quest rewards you with Azoth, but the ones that do typically earn you around 20 or 30. So if you track down the early side quests that reward it, you should already have a bit of a stockpile before you even get to a point where you need it. The other method, though it's decidedly less reliable, is just by grinding enemies. Unfortunately, only enemies that are level 20 or higher will drop it, so it'll be a while before you're leveled up enough to start grinding them. Luckily, major needs for Azoth don't even start until around that level. If you're looking to farm it, the best thing to do is to grind corruption points, though they are tuned to level 25, so you'll either need to be at that level or get a group together. The final way to get Azoth is by equipping one of your tools used for skinning, mining, fishing, etc. with an Azoth extraction buff. If you're diligent about farming materials, it's a very passive way to stay stocked up. On top of all that, there are two tips to keep in mind, which may seem obvious, but that doesn't make them any less important. First, we'd recommend not overusing fast travel. It's annoying to have to run everywhere, sure, but fast traveling seems to be the easiest way to blow a ton of Azoth really fast. Remember, pressing the equals key on your keyboard allows your character to auto run, and I'd even go as far as recommending you switch that to one of your side mouse buttons for ease of use if you have one to spare. Auto run doesn't really speed up your travel, but cruise control always makes things at least a little easier. Also, the farther you go, the more Azoth it costs. So maybe consider fast traveling part of the way to your destination and then walking the rest. Second, we'd recommend finding a preferred playstyle before it starts costing Azoth to reset your weapon mastery. If one-handed swords aren't your thing, give something else a try. But if you're constantly changing what weapons you want to specialize in after it starts charging you, well, that's a recipe for resource drain, so plan accordingly. And that's it. We can already tell from the closed beta that Azoth is going to be the currency we'll always be on the lookout for, so hopefully this little primer will help you in your travels. Thanks for watching, and for everything else New World, keep it here on IGN.